If you play Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, you know when you first get your tiles, it's a bit overwhelming. At least that's how I feel sometimes, and I may take a little too long to figure out what I'm doing. That's why I practice. I call this exercise Siamese Sprints. If you have a set at home, get the tiles out and give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing and hit the bell so that you get notification when I post new videos. Let's do some sprints. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed and I'm gonna use my smartphone stopwatch app. I'm gonna get 28 random tiles because we're gonna say we're the dealer And we're going to do sprint one. Sprint one will be lap one. Lap three and five will be sprint two and three. Laps two and four will be set up. I hope that makes sense. We'll take an average. And I think that a good guideline is for advanced players under two minutes, intermediate players under three minutes, and beginners under four minutes. Then if you want to improve, force yourself into the other thresholds. The goal I have is to be left with eight discards with my decision for each sprint. If you have any questions about those guidelines, make a note in the comment section. Let's see what we can do with the first sprint. So what I'm seeing is consecutive, three, four, five, six. Let's pull them together, see if a pattern emerges. Three, four, five, six. I don't think that's gonna work. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, four, five, six, four, five, three, four, five, six. I think that's what I would do. Three, four, five, six. Then for the rest, we've got maybe evens. I'm gonna lap it. Okay, evens, maybe even the pair hand. Probably not though. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, four, six, eight. Here would be three, four, five, six. We'd probably need these down here. Three, four, five, six. This hand is set. We could pung, kong, pung, kong. This hand would need work, but this is how I would play it. Evens, consecutive run. If you would do something different, write sprint one and what you would do differently in the comment section. Oh, we have joker bait too, right there. That might come in handy. Okay, let's move on to the next sprint. Okay, so for this sprint, I would say, let's see, we have four, five, seven, eight, four, five, seven, eight. We have a lot of four, five, seven, eight, but look at these dragons. Let's see, we don't have, let's see here, dragons, the dots. 
the, the dots might work with these opposite dragons. Maybe four, five, six with opposite dragons. And then down here, we can do seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Here's Joker bait. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight pair hand. I think I would do a seven, eight pair hand here. I would hold the nine, hold the five, maybe like numbers. Okay, I'm gonna lap it. So I would do four, five, six with opposite dragons. Hold the fives for either joker bait or switch to like numbers. So it would be five, dragon, five. We'd need another flower in here. And of course we need a flower down here. This would be the seven, eight, seven, eight pair hand. That would be the second from the bottom under singles and pairs. We would be left with six discards with options, including joker bait potentially. This nine you might hold for seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. That would be consecutive run the fourth hand down from the top. If you would do something different for sprint two, write sprint two in the comment section and say what you would have done differently. On to sprint three. So what I would do here, I would play I see a lot of three, six, nine and consecutive with five, six. We don't have any eights. So I think either odds or three, six, nine. If we played something with odds, five, seven, seven, nine. Let's just pull off the sixes and that two. And we could do five, seven, nine with flowers. We could do maybe even a pair hand with the one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand there. And then we could maybe do sevens instead of ones. And then for the second option, we've got sixes. Look at all these sixes here, sixes. Three six six nine three three six six nine seven discards. This is how I would play it. Okay, three six nine three six six nine with an option to play all sixes like numbers this would be joker bait if that were the case then down here i would play the pair hand that would be one three five seven nine third from the bottom we need obviously a one bam pair these up and pair these up and we have options one or the other it looks like we have seven discards but in actuality we probably have let's see one two three four five and uh, probably 12, 10 or 12 discards. But I think this is how I would play it out. If you would do something differently, let me know. Just write sprint three and how you would do this differently. Let's see how things went with timing. I don't know if I made it. I really struggled and I had a little technical difficulty with one of them. So let's see. Sprint one, one minute, 57 seconds. Sprint two, 
1 minute 53 and then let's see here the last sprint was 2 minutes and 10 seconds so right at 2 minutes I barely made it by the skin of my teeth I need to practice more that's why I do these sprints if you haven't tried Siamese sprints yourself and you have a set at home Get it out and give it a try and come back and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new strategy. Maybe pick up an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.